How's it going guys, this is Blackline Android HD and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom recovery on your Samsung Galaxy S4. Okay, so I got my Samsung Galaxy S4 right here, it is rooted and uh, let's, let's pretend it's not and it's running a stock firmware from Samsung Galaxy from the Samsung, a TouchWiz firmware for example. And uh, you would like to flash for example, as one of my subscribers asks, ask me, asks me uh, lollipop Google edition for example and uh, you want to flash it from recovery and you don't know how to flat how to get your your phone uh, how to get a custom recovery on your phone actually so uh, right now let's pretend I'm running stock firmware and I'm gonna show you in the next minutes how to properly flash a custom recovery on your Galaxy S4 so First of all, you'll need to get your device into download mode. And how do you do that? If you if you have your device turned on like mine, all you need to do is to let me turn on the and uh, yeah, kind of like this to focus right there. And so I've got here the volume up button and the volume down button. Also here I've got a home button and the power button. So all you have to do is to get into into download mode is to press down volume button down here home plus power button as I'm going to show you right now so simu sim simultaneously press them and you'll see that your screen is is blacked out You'll, you'll feel a vibration and then you'll have to press the same combination again. Sorry. <clears throat> again. So, I pressed a little bit... Uh, so, a little bit uh, after a schedule. To, to see like that. So after you feel that vibration, immediately you have to press the same combo, okay, the same combination. The volume down, home button plus power. So it says now warning a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and install applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key. Otherwise press the volume down key. So we want to press the volume up and we're now into downloading mode so right now let's concentrate on the on the files you will need let me focus uh, to okay so uh, first of all you will need this file right here I'm gonna show you a couple of seconds so let me let me zoom in so it's called Fills Touch. Yeah, it's uh, this is the name of the custom recovery you you will you'll uh, you'll you'll be able to flash after you watch this review. So it's called Fills Touch, and it's uh, the latest version of uh, it's uh, him hits recovery. Him, yes. <coughs> Sorry, I got a <coughs> terrible. <coughs> yeah, I got I caught a cold yesterday, and that's why. Um, and all you need to do is to open Odin. Odin, you will get. I will attach the link uh, of these uh, files in the descriptions right down below. And after you download them, go and uh, stock them on your desktop. And then open, open Odin. Let's uh, let me zoom out. Okay. Concentrate on this. So now, <coughs> sorry. You have I have my phone right here, out of focus, and you need to connect your phone to your computer by using your USB ca USB cable. That I'm gonna do here, and as you may see, it says there. There's, it says come full 
at id.com and the message is added so the device has been added added to to Odin. have to go to the PDA section and select <coughs> the file that you you downloaded uh, from the second file you downloaded from my description so right now it says the following please check if they are the same and uh, I'd like to, to, to tell you that you should not have the repartition ticked you should have the F reset time and the auto reboot ticked so afterwards all you need to do is to press start and that's all You can close the Odin right now, <coughs> and I'll get my 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 S4 into the proposition right here. You know what? We'll not uh, we'll not uh, wait for the boot up. We'll get into recovery directly by pressing the volume up button this time, the home button and the power button. It's the same process until you, you feel a vibration and then press the same combo simultaneously. Simultaneously. Sorry for my voice, guys. <clears throat> so it says rebooting into recovery right there. And voila have the Fields Touch 6 recovery fully working on your on your uh, Galaxy S4 uh, what you can do with this recovery I always recommend uh, making an Android backup first and you should you can do that by going to backup and restore and then uh, <coughs> go to backup to SD card or backup to SD card 1 in case you have a a external external SD card as you may see here he also integrated the lollipop buttons down here so they look uh, they look uh, the recovery looks great and yeah that's the the recovery for a Samsung Galaxy S4 custom recovery it's called Field Touch 6 and I hope you really enjoyed this video